cheer us up we're going to do a bit of dancing we'll have a nice cuddle with baby we will sing a silly song and make silly faces we'll have a great time so get your baby get all set up toddlers if you're getting involved feel free remember we want to see you moving and shaking those bodies as much as you can or you can be the grown-up get your teddy or maybe your baby sibling and you can be the grown-up in this session and do the baby move-on session. So this session is tailored for tiny babies up to wobbly walkers. There is a version of this session designed especially for toddlers that has already gone up on YouTube. So if you've just got uh, a couple of toddlers taking part, you might be best with that one, but this one is adapted for babies. Right, should we get going, gang? Welcome along, my name's Lisa. Welcome to Moo Music in my spare bedroom. This is Henry Horse. He's going to help us with the session today as well. Baby Sharon's down there. I'm going to introduce you to her and let's get going, guys. So I'll get comfy, shall I? Here we go. Right then. Hello, hello, hello. So this is baby Sharon over here. She's my little demo baby. Say hi, Sharon. So you want your baby sitting in front of you or you can be sitting them up. We're going to think a lot in this session about visual and auditory tracking, gross motor skills, fine motor skills, word association. We're going to make lots and lots of eye contact with baby in this one. Lots of varied face expressions. You're going to need a mirror, or if you don't have a little mirror, you can just put the selfie mode on your phone. You're going to need some food, some plastic, or even better, some real food for a bit of exploratory play. Of course, you'll have your juggler scarf or your little muzzy or a blanket, whatever you have, as you always do. Your pom poms and your egg shaker and any other sort of instrument as well. Right, let's go for it, gang, shall we? We're going to start as we always do. We're going to clap these lovely little hands. Now, babies learn by imitation and copying. We're building up all those signals, all those connections from their brain to their body parts. So you're physically taking baby's hands and making this clap motion. Here we go. Is everybody here are we ready, ready to start? Yes, we're here and we're ready to start. Are, are you ready, ready? baby horse? Yes. Are, are you ready, ready? baby Shannon? Yes. Are Come on then, let's do a little jump. Yes. Here we are go. Jump, jump, jump. 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 Is everybody here? Are, Are we ready, ready to start? Yes, we're here and we're ready to start. Is everybody here? Are we ready, ready to start? Yes, we're here and we're ready to start. Right, we're going ready. to wiggle and shake yes. now. So you can either lift baby up and yes. give him a wiggle. Are you ready? Yeah. Or you can just Are wiggle you their little hips as they're laying down. Shake, shake, shake. Can you see that baby there? Shake, shake, shake. 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 Shake, 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 shake,
jump all the way up. Jump, Can you touch the ceiling, toddlers? Jump, 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 Well done, everyone. Lovely stuff. Right then, for our next song, you're going to need your egg shaker or any shaky instrument that you have at home. Um, or anything homemade, you could pop some rice in a little um, Tupperware tub, anything at all to make a nice sound. We're thinking about baby's visual and auditory tracking here. So you're going to start in their eye line if your baby's laying in front of you. Move up and down and left and right, nice and slowly. Encourage baby to follow that prop with their eyes and with their ears. If your baby's sitting up, encourage them to hold that egg shaker now. Put your hand over their hand if you need to. Again, we're thinking about imitation and copying. Babies have to be physically shown how to do something to, in order to learn how to do it. So put your hand over their hand. Move their arm for them. We're thinking about cause and effect there. If they move their arm, the egg creates a sound and a vibration. We've also got word association going on with this one. We're going to touch our eyes, our hair and our arms. When we mention these body parts, touch them on your baby. Repeat the word to them. Lots of eye contact, lots of big smiles, okay? Are we ready? Come on then, gang. So this is the second song that we always open every session with. Here we go. Are you ready, Sharon? Should we do our morning stretches? Come on then. Are you ready on there, Henry Horse? Yeah, I thought so. association going on with that one it's never too early to start talking to your baby talk to them about everything and anything throughout daily life they'll love the sound of your voice and it is great for their memory their speech and language development their cognitive development it's good for so many things so just chit chat away to baby as you go about your daily um, activities right then let's do the oogie boogie so hopefully you've all got your own pom-pom or something similar you can make your own pom-pom at home it's really easy we've got a little tutorial video i think somewhere on this um, youtube channel or on our facebook page get some wrapping paper some tissue paper anything at all and um, stick it together at the top so you've got lots of sheets of paper flowing down at the bottom and just slice all the way up through there to give you your little oogie boogie parts right are we ready then so this is a lovely little upbeat one these pom-poms are great little sensory tools they feel nice and ticklish they sound nice and rustly and they're nice and bright. So we're stimulating three senses here. Again, we've got big, bright, happy faces making lots of eye contact with our baby. We're touching different body parts. We can tickle various body parts and tell them the names of those body parts. So again, getting into that habit of talking to baby. Where's your tickly tummy? Oh, there's your toes. Where's your tickly toes? Where are they? Oh, where's your tickly head? There it is, your tickly head. There it is. So chit chat away to baby throughout this whole one. The nice up feet one. So give yourself a little shimmy as well. We're thinking about our feelings today and we're determined to shake away the blues. Here we go. So if baby's laying down again, you're encouraging them to follow their pom pom with their eyes and with their ears. My arms are the egg shaker and baby's sitting up. Encourage them to hold their pom pom. Do a little shake. Get it all, baby, with the swinging feet. 
dance like you just don't care. So do 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 about our feelings today it's been a tough old lockdown hasn't it we're all full of mixed emotions babies toddlers grown-ups all of us so we're going to think about these feelings and how we can try and make ourselves feel a little bit happier so this what this session works beautifully with the toddlers as well if you've got a toddler at home check out the session that we did earlier in the week this session which is adapted for toddlers and it really gets them thinking about their feelings and also about your feelings as well and what we can do to make ourselves feel better Right then, for the babies, this one is all about our silly faces though. Babies are born pre-programmed to recognise the faces of their nearest and dearest. They respond beautifully to eye contact as well. They respond really well to smiling, happy faces. There have been countless studies on this done that babies from hours old will respond and focus better and easier and their little brains will light up at a smiling face making eye contact with them. So we're going to make lots of silly faces during this and we're going to make big happy bright faces, we're going to make four jokey sad faces and we're going to make some silly faces at baby too and maybe give them a little tickle. All the time making lots of eye contact with your baby. Be right in the moment with them, they might not be looking at you but sometimes you might be able to catch their eye. Um, and just roll with that if you can. Don't worry too much if they're not staring back at you. They'll come, they'll dip in and out of this, especially if you've got a tiny newborn. But um, be conscious that you should be looking at them the whole time through this song in case they do just chuck you a cheeky little eye your way. Right, let's go for it then. How are we feeling? You can get a shake involved in this one too. I'm feeling very happy. Make a smile, I'll be happy for a while. I'm feeling very happy today. Here we go. Now we're feeling a bit silly, so we can make some silly faces. Feel a little funny. Feel a little funny. Feel a little funny. Silly face, it brightens up the place. I feel a little funny. Oh, let's see your silly face. Oh, well done, that's a good one. I like it. Oh, how about your sad face? Feeling now, remember, I've got a full sad face for baby. All the time, making eye contact. Oh, we just had it. Feeling now, of course, this can feel so silly doing this. You can really self-conscious doing it. Because I just pump it up to the whole place. making lots of eye contact with them and just letting yourself go and having fun with your baby right then so our next one we're going to have a little dance so whenever we feel a bit sad toddlers you guys listening to this especially sometimes we can feel a bit sad and sometimes our grown-ups can feel a bit sad so we're going to think about some things now that can make us feel happy 
Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes popping some music on and having a good old dance and a boogie around the living room can make me feel happy. So we're gonna have a good old wiggle. Hopefully you'll feel happy by the end of this session doing just that. So grown-ups, if you've got a wiggle ribbon, get that out now. You're gonna stand above baby with it, keep it just above their eye level, encourage them to reach out and grab this ribbon. We're thinking about their um, visual tracking as well. We're encouraging them to try and focus on this ribbon. You can give them a little tickle with it as well. And of course, you're standing above them, so you're um, getting a little bit further away from them. If baby's beginning to sit up now, we're thinking about their head control with this. So dangle the ribbon so that it's coming just above their eye level, maybe a little higher, to encourage them to start looking up and trying to get it and trying to reach out and grab it. So we're thinking about their head control here, encouraging them to look up and discover the world above them, hopefully without toppling over. We're thinking about the hand-to-eye coordination as well. They'll hopefully start stretching these hands out and trying to grab or swat the ribbon away. So we're thinking about their hand-to-eye coordination there. So lots going on with this simple little song as well. So if you're up for it, you can get on your feet and your wiggle ribbon. And then we can all wiggle, wiggle. As I'm sure you know, in the middle of the night, they love a little cuddle, they love a little snuggle in with you. So we're going to have a little dance with our babies now. Now you can stay sitting down for this one or you can stand up with them. We've got a few little movements for this. So you're going to hold them in. It's nice and gentle for you as well. It's a nice little excuse to have a little um, snuggle with your baby. So we're going to lift them up and we're going to lift them down. We're going to lift them in and we're going to lift them out. All the time again, making lots of nice eye contact with them, giving them a nice little cuddle and holding them close. Here we go. This is a nice little one. So you can either stand up and have a little dance now with this, or you can just sit where you are and give your baby a nice little cuddle. Are you ready, baby Sharon? Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. 
thing throughout this lockdown that has given me a little bit too much comfort. I don't know about you guys. It is, of course, food. The snacks, the endless snacks. I surely I'm not the only one. So sometimes having a cheeky little snack or a nice meal can cheer us up. Can't we get a lot of pleasure from food? So with this one, hopefully you've got um, some carrots, some citrus, um, some nice big chunky food, potatoes, anything you've got that your baby can get a good grasp at. Or you can just get some plastic food from your play kitchen, which I've got here. I don't know if you can see on the screen, but I've got Lady Sharon's sensory blanket out here. So she's got a little foil blanket and I'm going to give her a little bit of tummy time here. So we're going to spin it over, give it a little bit of tummy time and I'm going to pop all these foods in front over and let her just have a little bit of exploratory play here. So if baby's not sitting up on their own, this is the ideal opportunity for some tummy time. If they are sitting up, just pop them on their blanket if you've got one. And let them have a little play around with all these foods. Let them smell them, touch them, even have a bite into them if they're nice and clean. Um, that is a natural way for baby to explore, is to put things into their mouths. It's, it's how they discover... Um, textures, tastes, so it's not a bad thing if they're um, putting things in your mouth. So don't stress too much about it as long as you're keeping things nice and clean. So if baby's starting to get a bit bigger as well with this one, there's lots you can do. I've got a few bits and bobs here. We could count them. We can think about counting them with our babies. Line them up and help them count them. Think about matching. Have you got two items the same? Let's sit them beside each other. Let baby see that they're the same. That's a match. Talk about the colours. Have you got some items that are the same colours? Oh, I've got some green things here. Look at all these green ones. Oh, look at these nice orange ones. Again, it might not make much sense to baby now, but these are good habits for you to get into at this point. You'll be amazed at how much they take in. Their brains are little sponges. So chat away to them all the time. As we mentioned before, the benefits to talking directly to your baby about everything and anything are endless. These are great habits to develop as early as you can. So get right down in your baby's level, right on the ground with them, and have a little play around with all these foods, whether they be real or they be plastic. Let them discover them, feel the textures, feel all the lumps and bumps in on, on them. Some of them might be hard, some of them might be soft. Talk about the colours, matching colours, numbers. Lots to go on with this little one, okay? Here we go. What feels yummy in my tummy? Yum, yum, yum. What feels yummy in my tummy? Yum, yum, yum. Ice cream. Ice cream. Donuts. Donuts. Milkshake. Marmite this one. I'm not a massive fan, I'll be honest, but here we are anyway. 
But I have to say the benefits of this one are endless. So with your baby in this session, um, in a baby or a newborn session with this song, we um, have mirrors. So hopefully you've got a little handheld mirror or you can pop your phone into selfie mode so that your baby can see themselves. This is our silly song. So this one is all about a bit of mirror play at this stage and in this group. Um, babies won't recognise the reflection in the mirror as being themselves until anywhere between a year and 18 months getting closer to the 18 months mark. There's a great way to be able to test if your baby can recognise their own reflection. If you can pop a bit of jam or a bit of chocolate or a bit of lippy or whatever, you've got something on their cheek or their face somewhere. And if when they see themselves in the mirror, they reach out and touch their own face on their physical body to get the mark off, then that's a sign that they've recognised that that reflection in the mirror is themselves. Up until that point, it's just another jolly, beautiful little baby to socialise with. So even though they might not be recognising themselves, it's great to show a baby themselves in the mirror because it helps their um, socialisation, it helps with their sense of curiosity and it gets them moving because they've caught it on quite quickly that the baby in the mirror is going to copy everything they do. So they might stretch their arms up to see if that baby does the same. They might sway from side to side to see if that baby does the same. They might stand up or sit down. So they're using their body all the time, getting used to all these muscles and all these movements that they can make. And as I say, it's great for that sense of curiosity and um, their social skills as well. So mirror play is such a silly little one, but it's a great one to get involved with. And um, yeah, we say about 18 months, they, they'll, they'll be able to recognise themselves, that being in the mirror. Um, themselves. Right, so if you've got your phone or your mirror, we're going to sing the silly song. And as we get a bit older, these are the words for our silly song, which I will pop on Facebook before we pop this onto YouTube. We're going to sing the silly song in lots of different ways. We're going to sing it like the Queen. We're going to sing it blowing bubbles. We're going to sing it sticking our tongue out. The lyrics don't make any sense, so don't try and make any sense of them, but they're just there to give you a little... Um, a little preview. I wonder if you'd be able to hold them up for us, Henry. Probably not. I'll hold them up during the song so that you can see them. So, um, once we get into the toddler group with this song, we're thinking a lot about baby's speech development and the muscles in their mouth and how they can control the muscles in their mouth and recognising the different pitches and volumes that they can make with their mouths. So, the whole point of this song is they're using their mouths in all different ways. They're manipulating the muscles in their mouths differently. They're holding their nose, sticking their tongue out, blowing bubbles. So they're building up all these little muscles in their mouth, which is great, obviously, for manipulating food when they're eating and also for their speech and language development as well. So although this is a silly song, it's far from silly in terms of the development. And it is, if you've got this on one of your CDs at home, it is a great one to get your baby singing and get the muscles in their little mouth built up. Right, let's go for it then. I'll hold up these lyrics for you during this. But get your mirrors out and have some fun with your baby, making lots of silly faces in the mirror. And let them enjoy that reflection in there. It's time to sing a silly song. Inky, binky, bankle, bong. Wordy, yada, fiddly, dee. I got stuck up a wongo tree. It's time to sing a silly song. Inky, binky, bankle, bong. Wordy, yada, fiddly, dee. I got stuck up a wongo tree. Woo sing it. Oh. Holding your nose. Uh, hold your nose, right. toddlers. Oh, well 
done, gang. I hope you had some fun with that one, with your baby. Discovering the reflection in the mirror. And toddlers, I hope you got involved in singing, holding your tongue out, holding your nose, singing in all the wrong notes, blowing bubbles. So a silly song by title, but certainly not in reality. Right then, gang, what fun we've had. We must be feeling good now after all that. We must be feeling nice and happy. Are you happy, Maggie Moo? Are you happy, Henry Horse? What about you, baby Sharon? Are you good? Right then, let's get some bubbles out, shall we? So again, bubbles, we're coming into the end of the session now. We always close on the same few songs to build up familiarity and let baby recognise what's going to be coming next. Bubbles are a great little sensory tool. Your baby will be about three months old before they can see these bubbles. Up until that point, there is not enough colour or contrast in them. Thereafter, they're great for the little eye muscles as they try and track and flow those bubbles. It's a great way to almost measure your baby's development if you're coming to Moo Music week after week. When, they, when you've got a little tiny sleepy newborn that's not really massively taking part or doesn't appear to be taking part or taking anything in, they won't even see the bubbles. They may be able to hear the machine and it'll look like they're following the bubbles, but if um, they're pre three months, they probably won't be able to see them. Thereafter, you'll see one way, all of a sudden, they'll just catch a bubble in their eyesight and they'll follow it. It might only be for a second or two to start with, but as the weeks go on, they'll follow them more and more. Once they're starting to sit up, they'll start reaching out and trying to grab those bubbles. So that's their hand-to-eye coordination kicking in at that point. Always an excuse to talk to baby. Talk to them about their bodies. Let's pop these bubbles on your toes. <gasps> a bubble's going to land on your nose. Oh, there's bubbles on your head. Let's catch one in your belly button. Chat away to your baby all through this song. Count with them. Shall we count the bubbles as we pop them? One, two, three. Count all the way up to ten. So lots going on with some such a simple song and such a simple tool with your baby. And of course, they all go after them. They love the bubbles. Toddlers, this is a great one to warm up all that energy if you've got any left. To be jumping around and with these bubbles. Jump up high to pop the bubbles. Crouch down low to pop the bubbles. Balance on one leg to pop those bubbles. Bubbles are fun. Bubbles are fun. Bubbles are fun for everyone. Bubbles are fun. Bubbles are fun. Bubbles are fun. some nice food we discovered all that lovely food we must be feeling good now gang let's have a little snooze then shall we so baby's going to be laying down for this one so hopefully you've got a little pillow and a little blanket your muzzy or your juggle scarf whatever you have give them a little tickle with that blanket and when we hear the cockerel shout go, 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 go. we're going to jump up so you're going to lift baby up head and shoulders supported and give him a gentle little bounce so this takes baby from a lay down position to an upright position fairly quickly gets the fluid in the inner ear swelling around which is great for their sense of balance and their sense of gravity. This one also helps develop baby's sense of anticipation. So anticipation is not something that we're born with. It's why babies get startled quite quickly and quite easily. They can't anticipate silly things or seemingly silly things that you and I subconsciously do, like when the door closes, it's going to make a sound. When someone pulls the window closed, it's going to make a sound. And so they get quite startled, whereas we can preempt that happening 
with her sense of anticipation without even thinking about it. So this one is great for a baby's sense of anticipation. As the weeks go on, they become more animated and that's their anticipation kicking in because they realise the music's going to change. If you were in a session, the lights would go up and they are physically going to move as well. Right, let's go for it. It's a bit like sleeping bunnies. Toddlers, get down on the ground, get yourself all cosied up. tired now and they'll have a nice snooze and you can have a nice hot cup of tea and um, we will be posting one of these videos every week for the duration of lockdown our version of lockdown certainly is unlikely that the cafe well it's impossible that the cafe will be open anytime before mid july i'm afraid that is the earliest that we are likely to open and it may well go longer than that before we open but in um in the meantime we will keep bringing you these sessions um online we will keep um, offering you merchandise bundles. So we're, we still got merchandise bundles available um, that include uh, juggle scarves, egg shakers, pom poms, sensory foils, CDs, the soft toys, Henry Horse and Maggie Boo. And um, we can also offer private Zoom sessions for you as well. So if you've got a few friends that you would usually come to Moo Music with that you're missing and you want to do a Moo session with them again, we can get you all together virtually over Zoom where I can interact directly with all the children. You can all interact with each other. <coughs> and we'll have Big Maggie Moo here for that one as well if you would um, wish her. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that's about it, gang. We're missing you lots. Keep smiling. I know it's tough and it continues to be tough. Enjoy the sunshine while it's out. Get out, get walking, get exercising. Keep smiling. You're doing a great job. And Maggie Moo and Henry Horse and I miss you lots and wish you lots of love. Take care, stay safe.